right, guys. We've got something to talk about that's not, like, the same kind of thing that I usually talk about. I wanted to do this a couple days ago when it actually happened, but uh, obviously the Julian Edelman thing happened, so I had to react to that first. Um, but now I get the chance to react to this, which is Eddie George becoming the new head coach of Tennessee State, which, if you guys do not know, is a historically black college, an HBCU, if uh, for short, if you uh, if you don't know what Tennessee State is. It is a, a lower division of college football, the same realm as Jackson State, where Deion Sanders is. Um, it's the, it's the same realm of division and conference and and level of football as as Tennessee State is. And so the reason I'm reacting to this is because Eddie George is most famously known for being the star running back at Ohio State in the 90s, the mid 90s, when he won a Heisman. I think it was in 95 he won the Heisman. I am a Ohio State fan, uh, as you guys already know, and. Uh, then he went on to the NFL, running back for the Titans, played in a Super Bowl, lost that Super Bowl to the Rams, um, was a tremendous running back in the league for, for a couple of years, and then went on to like do Broadway and stuff. And, and he, he did plays and Broadway and, and all this kind of stuff. And, and I never really took Eddie George as the kind of guy that wanted to be a head coach. But that's coming from somebody who doesn't obviously know Eddie George. I don't know what's going on in his head. I don't know um, what his ambitions were. I don't know what his goals are in life. Obviously, I don't know any of that. So this, to me, came as a shock that he would want to be a head coach. Not just because it's at a, a small school like Tennessee State. That has nothing to do with it. Uh, I just didn't know that he wanted to be a head coach. And... To, to have really no coaching experience and then to jump right in to be a head coach, even at a small school, to jump right in to being a head coach is kind of crazy. Uh, I saw that he was trying to bring in like Jeff Fisher's son uh, to be a coordinator, bring in Hugh Jackson to be a coordinator and stuff. So he's trying to get guys that have experience in the NFL that could maybe teach him the ropes uh, especially a guy like Hugh Jackson, who's been a head coach at a couple places in the NFL, and uh, maybe show him the ropes so that he could possibly learn on the job and become a better head coach, whether that still be at Tennessee State or maybe in a couple years he moves on to a, a bigger job. I don't know. But I am happy for Eddie George. I am very happy that he... Is getting this opportunity. I love Eddie George personally. He's one of my favorite players of all time. I love me some Eddie George, and I'm happy that he's getting this opportunity. And I'm especially happy that he's getting an opportunity at a uh, an HBCU because those schools really don't get talked about. Let's be honest; like nobody talks about HBCUs unless you are a fan of a college that is part of that, or you are in that area of the of where that college college is like i feel like we should be talking about them more because there is some talent on those teams there is some good players on those teams there's some good people on those teams and we it just doesn't get talked about enough so maybe eddie george and now it was like with dion and now eddie george being head coaches at these kind of schools maybe that will bring some more relevance into these these schools and get people to talk about it more and, and get some more players that maybe previously wouldn't have an opportunity to, uh, to, to go to the combine or to go to the NFL draft or to play in an NFL team. Maybe with this head coach signing of Eddie George and with Deion Sanders, maybe this starts to raise the relevance of these schools and gets these players more opportunities that they otherwise might not have to, to get noticed because now like Jackson State games are played on ESPN. I'm sure Tennessee State games will be played on ESPN as well because they have relevant coaches now that I'm not I'm not trying to say that the coaches before weren't relevant. I don't know them because I don't follow really anything other than the top flight college football. That's just me. But 
I might watch a couple Tennessee State games if they're on TV because Eddie George is the head coach. And and I feel like that might be the thing that that uh, brings more people, more of the casual viewers in to watch some of these games that they otherwise might not watch because they know, oh, Eddie George is the is the head coach. I know Eddie George. I watched him when I was a kid. I watched him in college. I see that 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 kind of thing might help these schools and and get them into the prominence that they deserve to be in because there's some real talent on these teams. So, all in all, I think this is a fantastic move for both parties involved. I don't know how Eddie George is going to be as a head coach. He might not be the great head coach that I want him to be. Or he may blow all that out of the water and me be the greatest coach of all time. I don't know. I don't know because he doesn't have a lot of experience coaching. He does have the playing experience. But we've known from past experiences with that that players, not all players transition into coaching that well. So there's a reason that Peyton Manning is not a head coach or an offensive coordinator in the league right now. Just different, different players can't transition that playing mentality into a coaching mentality. So it's just, we're going to have to wait and see, obviously, with anything. We're going to have to wait and see what happens. But I just, I, I, I hope that Eddie George has a successful head coaching career. I hope that he's there for a while at Tennessee State, builds them into a power, and then maybe they're knocking on the door for some, some big power five schools, maybe. Who knows? But we'll have to wait and see on that. I'm just, I'm happy for Eddie George. I'm glad that he gets this opportunity to uh, show what he's got as a head coach. I didn't even know he wanted to be a head coach, but now that he is, I hope that he does great. So let me know down below in the comments what you guys think. If you guys are shocked by Eddie George getting this con getting this uh, head coaching opportunity, if you guys think he's going to do great, if you guys think he's going to suck, I don't I don't I don't know what you guys think. Just let me know down in the comments below. Smash that like button, hit the notification bell and the subscription button as well. Join the Juice Club and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.